Welcome back to Real Terms for AI on the road. I'm here today with Aja and Christina Lin, Head of Cloud Developer Relations for Northam at Google Cloud. Christina. Yes. The most important question all day. All right. What is an agent? Oh, you know what? People have a lot of different answers to that. But for me, that is a software assistance for me, right? So you got a brain that's kind of like an LLM that thinks for you. And then you've got your hands and feet, which are the tools that actually does things for you. So an agent is something that can think, that can do things on your own behalf. All right, I can, I can work with this metaphor here. Right. So when we think about these things, what are the feet? Well, I mean, it can be something like, um, you know, analyzing whatever your data is, right? So something like, oh, I did a survey for 50,000 people and I want a quick answer. Can, can you can you quickly analyze it for me? And then this feed just goes around and around yeah. the data and it's not analyzing things for me. So that's kind of what it does. Right? You said, okay, so you also said 15,000 things. Right. So I have a thousand APIs. Right. How do I think about all my application things with APIs and then my agent? Right, so these APIs are kind of the external tools. Okay. So you know how you have your hands and all that kind of stuff, but also it can be a lot more helpful with external tools that can help you with that, right? So yeah. any other tools provided by different vendors, these are the things that I can use my hands to grab them, or I can kind of just natural access to these tools right away with whatever my brain thinks, right? So my brain thinks that, you know, I should get beer right now because I'm super stressed. So it's gonna grab a beer. I mean, it's 10 a.m., but we'll be there in two right. hours. Right. <laughs> starting, starting to get close to robots and stuff there. Are robots right. agents? Well, I mean, robot can be one of them, right? So if okay. you build your agent in a robot, it just becomes much more real, much more physical. So, second question we're asking folks today. Right. What are your thoughts on vibe coding? <laughs> I like that question. Actually, I just vibe coded a couple of days ago. Okay. I did a demo on how do you work with vibe coders, and to be in that mode, I have to vibe code. So okay. I just did a vibe coding. The thing I did is, um, you know how I have like a bunch of Pokemons, and Pokemons are hard to choose when you're starting. So I vibe coded. How do you choose your like starter Pokemon? So okay. I just vibe coded. It took me about half an hour to get things straight because I'm, I'm, I'm making it a lot more complex than it should be. But um, yeah, I was able to get it up and running. Well, and making things more complicated is the tradition in software development. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, when we close our show, we say happy prompting. Okay. All right, okay. All right, one, one two, two, three. Happy prompting! <laughs>